My name is Laura Van Tilburg and I'm on the women's basketball team here at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. I'm doing my project over the UT Rio field house, specifically the gymnasium, the locker rooms, and the training room. most about the UT RGV gymnasium? Well personally being an athlete I think there's a lot of great factors here. Um, as you can see well when we have our bleachers pulled up we actually have three different courts so that gives us six goals to work with. 
uh, when our bleachers are pulled down for game days, we can have over 2,500 individuals um, that can come to our games. Uh, I think there's a lot of great things um, for practice and for games both. Um, I know that for a fact that women's basketball and men's basketball and volleyball all use the same facility. And before practices and games, the, the court is swept and before games, it's even polished. Another great thing that we have is that we have a very big jumbotron and for basketball game, it shows our names, it shows instant replays, it shows uh, how many points we score, how many um, rebounds we get and how many blocks we have as well as fouls. And for volleyball, it shows kills, digs and assists. So I think that the UTRGV Fieldhouse is a, it's a great thing to, to have for our athletes and I think that it really shows you know, what we're trying to portray as a Division I institution. How would you improve the UTRGV gymnasium? As a whole, I think the gym needs to be modernized. Um, we need new doors. Uh, these, we need to get rid of these bricks. Uh, we need to have uh, better painting. And I think just as a whole, it needs to be improved. Um, we definitely need a new sound system. For our scoreboards, we need a better picture quality and just things of that nature. What do you like most about the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley women's basketball locker room? What I like about the women's basketball locker room is 
it's spacious, it has lots of room, and we have our own built-in Bluetooth sound system, which is great on game days. We have couches, we even have a refrigerator for food. We even have our built-in um, weight room, which is good because we have a lot of ellipticals in there. And we also have a lot of signs on the wall that give us like encouraging and motivating words before practice. And it's just a place where we can go and relax. If any changes could be made to the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley women's basketball locker room, what improvements are needed most? I think the locker room needs a lot of renovations. For instance, the bathrooms, the showers, they have mold in it, and some of them don't have curtains, and the water doesn't even get hot enough. And also the bath, the stalls, they don't have, some of them don't have doors, and you know, girls do need privacy sometimes. Do you feel that this locker room can compete with other Division I institutions? I do think our personal locker room can compete with other Division I institutions. One, um, we do have everything that other schools have, say for instance equipment, like we do have our own free weights, our own ellipticals, um, couches, TVs that we watch film on, a refrigerator that we keep all our nutrition in, but I don't think our bathrooms can compete with the Division I institutions. It's just not kept up to maintenance. What do you like most about the UTRGV training room? I think as a whole, it is a great facility that allows athletes to come in before and after practice and before and after games to help get treatment. Uh, it's a great facility you know, where we can heat up, where we can cool down. Um, we have great machines and modalities that are used to help athletes get back on the court or the playing field faster. We have really great trainers that are top of the notch and know exactly what they're doing. We have great uh, student, or student mentors uh, that come in and uh, learn from the best and help our, tape our ankles and tape knees and, and any other thing that uh, an athlete needs to you know, be successful and go out on the court. What improvements need to be made to the UTRGV athletic training room? I think that the entire facility just needs to be bigger. Um, UTRGV has over 200 student athletes and when you try to put a lot of them in a room that it's really hard to be spacious. Um, with the way it's set up, having our training tables, our taping tables, our whirlpools, and everything like that, and our bikes, it's really hard for athletes to be spacious and for them to, you know, roll out on the floor or, you know, just get treatment. I think that uh, in the near future, we need to remodel the training room and just, you know, get a, a better or a bigger square footage uh, that way more athletes will have room to accommodate for rehab and for specific exercises and treatment that are needed for their given sports.
Here's how a typical UTRGB volleyball game day goes. Here's where you can buy shirts from our bookstore. And here's where you can get some concession samples, concessions from the game. Can you let me know about the upcoming renovations that are being made to the UTRGB Fieldhouse? Uh, yeah, we are uh, going to, at the end of basketball season, uh, we're going to kind of gut uh, the entire back of uh, both the men's basketball, women's basketball, and volleyball locker room areas uh, and hallways. Uh, we're going to start off um, taking the existing training room. Uh, we're going to flip-flop it with the uh, existing uh, equipment area, which is going to give about 1,200 more square feet the athletic training room uh, provide a little more room uh, for office space for our five athletic trainers as well as an exam room uh, for our uh, team doctors to be able to come in and <clears throat> be able to two or three nights a week be able to uh, uh, assist our student athletes with injuries or illnesses uh, give us a more of a, a hydro area uh, for the, uh, the cooling tubs for the wet and hot tubs uh, the equipment room will go back on where the training room is uh, that'll uh, provide us a little more uh, a little more space for uh, the equipment areas where you get some special equipment locker room uh, type setups that allows us to uh, it's a little more advantageous in regards to the uh, equipment and apparel uh, for our at least 12 of the sports teams uh, to be able to be housed in that area uh, baseball 
men's and women's soccer and track and field will be housed uh, out in the uh, facilities near their existing uh, stadiums or facilities currently right now. Uh, we will uh, completely gut the flooring and the wall areas uh, so make it more aesthetically pleasing uh, in regards to going down the entire hallways. Uh, we do plan on putting a media room uh, in the front of where the uh, actual new equipment area will go which will give us a space for the media to meet with the head coaches for uh, basketball and volleyball after each of their uh, home events. Um, the compliance office will go away. Uh, that'll become part, of course, the training room. And on the other side of that, we have a video room and an office, and we will knock a wall down to make uh, the video room twice that size based off of some of the technological advancements that we've done in regards to our home uh, athletic events. We will also take the media and marketing areas. Uh, we will completely gut that, and that will become a concessions area, which will have five different windows it will have, uh, it will allow for some hot foods, uh, but based off of um, fire code and different things like that, uh, we won't be cooking barbecue or uh, anything quite like that, but it will serve as an indoor uh, concessions area for uh, both our women's basketball and our volleyball uh, events starting next fall with volleyball. Um, it, that's probably all of most of phase one. Uh, phase two, we will uh, start to look at all the locker room areas. Uh, we are going to uh, connect those with existing uh, showers and restroom areas that allows the athletes to have um, showers and, and restrooms uh, directly right off of each of their locker room and team rooms. Uh, on the women's side, uh, we will end up taking away some of the team room area uh, for women's basketball to allocate uh, additional uh, space and square footage for the shower room, uh, restroom areas, and then same thing with uh, women's or for women's volleyball. We will actually uh, incorporate in officials' locker rooms and visiting team locker rooms and the additional square footage. Uh, we're going to reallocate some of the space and some of the existing restroom areas to be able to make that uh, a reality. Uh, the only other areas that we're looking to do is we will uh, have a new speaker system in by the beginning of this uh, men's and women's basketball uh, season. It's about a $20,000 upgrade uh, in regards to what currently exists. And then over Christmas break this year, we will take a look at putting in an LED lighting system, uh, which will give us the capabilities of hosting ESPN quality uh, type events. And then at some point um, in during the season, we will actually take the uh, doors in the front of the field house adjacent to the parking lot, and we're actually going to blow those out and put in glass uh, doorways. And then we'll come back in phase two in the next fiscal year and make the back end where the walkway is of the entrance for the student body in a majority of the non-season ticket holders and actually blow that out and also make that a glass um, uh, set of doors uh, in that area as well. And that's more for the amenities side and allow us to put some graphics up uh, of our student athletes and, and be a little more uh, pleasing to the parking lot area as well as a walkway when people come up to the games.